guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of different videos. I'm going to be getting back into doing filming and everything like that. Um, so my first video back, besides my little hello, is... <laughs> All right, Willow, I guess you can join the video. The first video back that I'm going to do is about essential oils and how I like to use them. I currently have them diffusing in my bedroom right now. Right now I have lemon, lime, no, lemon, grapefruit, sweet orange, and uh, mandarin red. That's what I have going right now. Um, I really like it. It's very citrusy, fresh, clean. Um, for me, it personally boosts my mood. It makes me kind of a little bit more energetic. Um, I like to diffuse um, lemon, or not lemon, um, sweet, sweet orange and lavender when I'm trying to go to bed. Um, I personally think that that helps me better than like taking a melatonin pill or anything like that. Um, it's very calming, it's very relaxing. Um, I also just like to do different blends, especially coming into winter now, kind of doing more fall wintry type blends. Um, I have a Pinterest board that I'll link down below for you guys. If you want to follow that, um, that kind of, that's usually where I get most of my blend ideas from. And then sometimes I just like to play around and mix different things up and, uh, it's very, very fun. It's very easy to do. Um. Some of the brands that I, or um, companies I like, I guess I should say, is um, Rocky Mountain Oils. I really like, excuse me, she wants to have my essential oil, so can I have this? Thank you. They look like this. If it'll focus, it doesn't want to. Hey, focus. Okay, well it doesn't want to focus. But it just looks like this, and then on the side, right there, I wish it would focus for you. I'll probably just insert a photo, but on for the Rocky Mountain Oils, I like how on each different one, it tells you, um, like, if you can diffuse it, if you can use it topically, if you can use it in your household, and it gives you all of that information right on the bottle, so you don't have to go back to the website, which I really, really like. And then if you get a blend like this one, which is the Breathe, Breathe Easy blend by them. Oh, now it's going to focus. Cool. So here's those little symbols that I was telling you about. So this one you can use, um, you can diffuse and use topically. I personally like to diffuse mine more than use them topically, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, but it tells you kind of everything that's in them, like what different oils are in the blends and whatnot. And if it's mixed with a carrier oil. Um, it'll also tell you that. So I really like that about them. Um, I also really, really like um, Eden's Garden. These ones come in a 10 milliliter and, excuse me, dog. And the Rocky Mountain Oils come in um, 15 milliliters. So they're a little bit smaller size, but they're priced pretty evenly for what you get. Um, some oils are more expensive than others. Um, that's just the nature of essential oils. Um, I like, one thing I do, I have all my oils, or a handful of my oils down here, so that's why I am. Keep looking down there. Um, the one thing I do like about Eden's Garden is they do have like starter packs. So I think they come in um, 4, 8, 12, 32 and up and they come at a discounted price. Not all of them are in that, um, can I help you? No playing. She just wants to be in the video today, so you're getting a little dog footage as well. Um, some of them don't come in there. Like, unfortunately, I wanted frankincense in my bundle, and it didn't have that, so I just purchased it um, in addition to my um, starter pack, which was really nice and super easy. Um, I will say all of the brands that I have used and bought from have had super, super fast um, shipping, which is awesome. 
you, I swear to God, if you knock over my Starbucks, girl, don't knock. Do not knock over to Starbucks. Another one that I really, really like is um, Florahana. They come in these um, little metal containers because you are supposed to store your essential oils in a cool, dark place. And um, one thing when looking at getting essential oils or getting into them and finding the right brand for you is they should all come in um, the dark amber bottles. And they should have a dropper. It's like one of those eyes in there. It makes it easier to get them out and it makes the oils not spill out too fast, I guess I should say. Um, I One thing I really, really like about the Florahana ones is that they have they make sure that like no light gets in there because of the metal container. And then on the top you have, it has a little label on here. So it says like what it is, where it's from, um, and the origin of the um, plant. So this is my sweet orange and it's from Brazil. And it also comes with a, um, I guess lot number I want to say. So like if something goes wrong, you can tell them and whatnot. Um, you can get them from the Florahana website. I will say shipping is pretty expensive on there. Or you can do it from... Um, she likes to squeak her toys. I'm sorry. Can you, like, lay down for, like, five minutes? You've been sleeping all day, and then all I want to do is film a video, and you are, like, all up in this business, bitch. Good lord. Ugh. Oh. I can't think of the other website right now, but I will have that linked below for you. But yeah, I just, I love diffusing it. I got my diffuser off of Amazon. I currently have it um, diffusing on my nightstand right now. Um, it's super easy. You just fill it up with water. Add, um, I would say start with five or less drops of essential oils before you know how it affects you and how everything, um, how oils work react with your body I personally like it a little stronger so I do about 10 drops in total of whatever I'm mixing if I'm doing four oils I'll do two drops each um, if I'm doing one oil I'll do five or six drops of that one but yeah I will also have my diffuser linked below um, I personally really like it it's a little like wood bamboo type looking one um, it's super small so it lasts for probably, I just run it continuously. Um, it does have different settings where you can run it for like 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and then I believe just continuous. I like to do it continuously. Um, just personal preference, I don't know why. But yeah, uh, if you have any questions or you want to see any more kind of videos on essential oils, kind of what I use, um, what different oils I have, everything like that, just let me know, and I'll be more than happy to kind of do that. Um, oh, one book you should, the book I read when I first started getting it into essential oils was like, Essential Oils and Aromatherapy. Um, I just gave it to one of my friends to read, so I will post a photo here of it. The first part is just like basic information about essential oils, like how they're um, made, what you should look for, um, different types, and then the next section is like if you have anxiety, depression, um, oily hair is one of the things you can use essential oils for. It just gives you different things you can use them for, or different ideas. And then the third one is every single essential oil is in there, what it's good for, what it can be mixed with, what it shouldn't be mixed with, whether it should be um diffused topically can it be diffused can it not be diffused what oil should not be mixed together which is really really important and all of that Whoo! hiccups and all of that kind of information on there and then they do have a list of um i want to say 10 to 15 different essential oil brands that you can um kind of gives a small description brief description of them it also gives um, a little information on like what you should look for, customer reviews on them, that kind of stuff. Um, 
that's how I found the Eden Insta Garden one. I had found um, Rocky Mountain Oils just in my own research and Florahana from watching a YouTube video. And then I found Eden's Garden just by that book, which is really awesome. Um, but yeah, I'll have all of the links down below. I'll have all the information for everything down below. I'll have my um, Pinterest board, blends I like, um, my favorite go-to oils. Um, and yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know. Let me know if you want to see more videos on this or if you have any other video ideas you want me to try out and see. I'll be your guinea pig, I promise. Um, yeah, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do them for you, and I'm really excited to get back into filming. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and thanks for watching. Bye. And now because she wanted to be in the video so badly, here's some puppy footage. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, can you get one here twice? Where's your dinosaur? No. Hey, Willow, where's your bunny? <gasps> Go get your bunny rabbit. <gasps> where's bunny? Let's see. Nope. Hey, where's your bunny? Go get your bunny. She's like, nah, Mom, I'm out. Bye. Okay, Willow, sit. Hey. Hey, sit down. Sit down. Hey. Say goodbye. Say bye, friends. <laughs>